What's going on guys? It's been a while since I've made a update video on the Macintosh, but uh, long story short, I got a SCSI to SD card up and running for Macintosh. And this one is a SCSI to SD focus uh, version 5.2. Essentially for the people that might not know what this is, it's just a uh, future proof on being able to use an SD card and transfer files into it, apps, and here's the original SCSI drive. It still works, but I just kind of want to make sure I have something to uh, be able to transfer things into it. Uh, this has been uh, the best solution I can come up with. And as you see here, it's a 50 pin one. You're gonna have to go out and buy an additional adapter for the four pin. I honestly don't even know what this is for. It's probably for the power. But yeah, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get it up and running and hopefully help you troubleshoot if uh, you're running into any issues. So let's, uh, let's begin. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we want to format the micro SD card that we have right here and completely wipe it out, any, any information that's in it. Then what we want to do is plug in the micro USB for the side. We should be seeing some feedback. Uh, this yellow light should be turning on and then let's move over to the computer. So what I'm going to be showing you guys is a program called SCSI to SD utility. And essentially we're gonna load in some settings for this adapter in order for it to work. The file that I was given was from an eBay seller that I'm gonna show in this video right now. Uh, he does profit from this, so I'm not gonna be giving out the file. Uh, it is his business and I, I don't want to hurt it in any way, but this file that was provided to me, I feel like there's gonna be some online that you can use. Sorry that I'm not as helpful on this, but again, he does make a business out of this. Please reach out to him in case you do need help with this. And we are going to open that file up and then we are going to save to device. Now, essentially we loaded up the settings for that device. In this case, it's gonna be an adapter. And if you can see here, light is blinking showing us that it got loaded in we're gonna see that the settings were already here but if you had a plain vanilla adapter these settings would not be here and we have the settings here now for the adapter now the next thing we want to do is plug in our micro SD card and plug it into the computer so we're going to add the image file to the sd card i am using a program called etcher and it's free online then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the image file again i was given a file from this eBay seller, he is profiting off of it, so I do not want to give out the file. Uh, it's his business and I don't want to hurt it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pick the SD card, the device that we want to load it into, and then we're going to flash it. Now this might take a while. We're going to get the pop-up windows. Man prompt is going to be used, but then that should be loaded in and once it's done flashing we should be good to go i'm going to try to find an image file out there online uh, for, for help in case you guys don't have it and yeah we will come back once it's done so here's the moment of truth we have the sd card with the flashed image file in it and then we got the default settings, uh, the SCSI util uh, software that we used, uh, the settings should be loaded into the adapter. So let's boot it up and see if it works. 
Let me just be careful with this. It doesn't. All right. So, fortunately, I don't see any light feedback. We might have an issue there. Oh, nope, just took a second and we're seeing some activity, lights, and if you see here, we have Welcome to Macintosh. Whew, this project has been crazy. That screen is <laughs> pretty good to be able to look at it. I've had to also swap out the capacitors on this thing, so yeah, this has been quite the COVID project. All right, so we got the Mac up and running and let's uh, mess around with some files. Let me zoom in onto the screen. All right. So a few things about SCSI drives is they can act weird. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you don't restart or shut down your computer properly, uh, there could be the chance that you need to reformat the micro SD card again and go through the whole process uh, that's happened to me so if you're running into issues where you shut down your computer and suddenly the next boot you're you're in a boot loop uh, don't worry it's just you have to go through that process again and another thing that I noticed with this adapter is obviously if you click on files that might not be necessarily made for this version of your OS it's gonna crash it and it's gonna mess it up. But look at this. We have a huge library of games on your Mac. Uh, I definitely wanna try out Missile Command first. Some of these actually require the three megabytes of RAM. So don't be alarmed if some of them don't work. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go 30 years back in the past and let's play some Missile Command. Man, this game makes you feel grateful for Warzone. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty grateful for my Xbox. Type up a Word doc. My name is gonna be Showpots. All right. And then hit OK. Wow, 1990. <laughs> so let's go, hello world. Now, yeah, I think that's, that's probably gonna be the end of it for this video. I hope this video helped you out in some way. It's, uh, it's pretty hard to get these adapters up and running, but with some patience and uh, the right files, uh, it's possible. Now, please let me know if you guys have any questions and if you would want me to mess around with more of uh, these programs. I'd love to kind of review them. So, on that note, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.